Let's try Acolyte. I don't know which one I'm gonna go for. I might go Necromancer and just have a shit like an army of the dead. But then there's also Lich and Warlock. I'll decide when I get to the point. Um, this looks like Alt when she gets up in the morning, by the way. Just pissed. Just straight up pissed. Pissed that she's awake. By the way, what are we naming this character? What are we what are we gonna name this character? I uh I've been th I've been racking my brain, but I don't know. So I want someone to come up with a name for this character. Something that instills fear. Something that instills authority. Darkness. You don't know if they're gonna rip your face off, Bob. In oh. the beginning, there was darkness. Only the myself, and the void. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed, and yet, in her world, there were gods. Majosa of the desert, Largon of the sea, Rye of the endless skies, and Hierods of the frozen tundra. But fate stole Lekera away. Without her, there was conflict, then wars. In the end, it was Rye who sought to outshine the sun that would pull the world into his flame. Caught within Rye's gaze were the Keepers, an order sworn to protect Etera's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected, a traveler willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? Power? Redemption? Or was this fate? Perhaps. But no story is quite that simple. Ooh, the law, the law. So this new character, I have no idea how cool this character is going to be. Okay. Oh, why have I got lag? Uh, and what about this? Are oh, you just swinging shit? Okay. Let's have a look. No! Firebugs! No, they're not. I have Raya. Raya, Raya, I forgot how to pronounce it, bro. Does that give me health? Because I'm pulling blood out of them, and it's coming to me. Uh, rips blood out of target enemy, dealing physical damage to it. An orb of blood it draws back to you, restores 10 health. When yeah, so it's, it deals health. Oh, there's a hatchet. I mean, it's probably already better than what I've got, but I'll wait. Let's go! I know how health potions work. Fuck off. I just said I know how health potions work. Fuck off. I'm, do I outheal these? I think I outheal all these enemies at the moment. Do I want to, like... Oh, shit. You know what? I just skipped a little bit of a lore. I apologize. For those who are here for lore. I'll try to remember in the future not to. Um... I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, shall I, like, build a character that is... Which hurts more? Well, this heals me, so... You know what? I can just stand here and take it. Also, like, certain things are shared between characters, I've noticed, but I don't think I'm gonna have anything shared between these characters. I'm a little squishy at the moment. Sort of out healing them. Oh no, I'm fine now. I'm fine. Hell yeah. Yo, we... We cool. Anything back here? Nope. Okay. Fuck. Okay, yeah, that fire hurts. That f f by the way, just note to self, fire hurts in this. Level 2! I don't know what this does, but... Oh, wait. How many of these can I have? I've just summoned some. How many can I have? 
character. How many minions can I have? Uh, minions. I can have two minions. No? Oh, I can have three. Well, that lied to me then. Why, why lie to me? Why lie? Man, there are some areas in this game that are fucking gorgeous to look at. I mean, I'm already doing great amounts of damage for the beginning bit. Uh, spell damage? No. Wait, what, does this go under physical spell intelligence, physical melee, bow, and area? Uh, none of these go for spell. Oh, wait, that does go for spell. Okay, so I'll keep... Yeah, I'll keep the spell damage on. Because I am going to try my best to min-max as I go along. The only thing I've still not fully learned on how to do, because it still confuses me a little bit, is the forge system in this game. So, for anyone who watches this and they know how the forge system actually works, that can describe it to me in a succinct fashion where an idiot like me would understand, please, type away. Type away. Because, uh... I, uh... I don't know. I don't know. Not a, not a clue. Not a fucking clue. Let's fucking go. Oh god. Hi. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be kind of like the um, thing in Dark Souls, in Dark Souls, in uh, Diablo 3 and some of the other uh, Diablos where the Necromancer is just going to be absolutely, utterly broken. Broken beyond belief. Good. Wait, do any, if any of the stuff shared? No, none of the stuff shared. So, but everything between your online characters is shared. Well, not everything. A lot of stuff is, and a lot of stuff, I'm assuming, in your offline characters is shared. Like um, forging stuff and money. Level up. What's this do? What does this do? Costs no mana. Okay. Fire sharpened bones from your body. The bones pierce through enemies, inflicting physical damage instead of mana. 9% 9% of your health is consumed on this spell. I don't know if I'm comfortable with doing that. So you mix these two up, but they do... Use that, they use that to heal. Use that, use that to heal. Okay. Good! Hi. You arrived. Was there a family? Uh, I don't know if there were. Everything alright? I might have to turn up the uh, voice acting. There were so many. I can handle offsprings. I told them to stay back, to let me handle it. And they left. It is war. You can't save everyone. What good are we if we can't? <sighs> Sorry. I just met you. It's been a long road. Are you also here for the peace talks? That's right. Good. Because so am I. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction. Why don't we go together? Uh, sounds good to me. Which of us will take down more Ospreys? Come, let me watch you fight. Pierce and damage. <coughs> Smoke. Smoke. Yeah, we're surrounded by fire, you moron. Of course, there's smoke. Nice. Get frozen, bitch. Uh. Level four. What's this? Water in shrine, hundred percent increase of mana regen. Fuck yeah! Itchy news. Itchy news. Oh hi! I am immortal. Someone's gonna come around the corner now and absolutely shit on me. Oh my god! Leave me alone. Law! The keepers have proven difficult to track. But my observations revealed the truth. Their camps are neither chosen nor abandoned on a whim. There's a pattern to how they scurry. I instructed my soldiers to investigate the abandoned camps. Invariably, they're near shrines devoted to the eldest of gods. Each one was as empty as the last, save for meager signs of the keeper's presence. They're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them, over and over. They must be moving with them. It'll be as simple as burning these vermin to ash. 
Raya wills it. Raya, that's how you pronounce it. Okay. I used to go to a school with a girl called Raya. Very odd girl. More law. Hirots offered protection. More than protection. An alliance. But the truth is, we know little about him. Or his people. Why should the council trust him? Prospect one. He's one of the gods. Atera made him just as she made us keepers and gave him a role by her side. He's the guardian of his people and he does his job well. Prospect two. He cares for his people. Like the goddess herself, he extends his heart to all who need support. He forms alliances wanting to stand united. Meanwhile, Raya wishes to tear this world asunder. Prospect three. His people are warriors. Hairborian fighters put us to shame. We fight because it is necessary while they relish in it. I'll take on being behind their blade any day. Thus, I propose we accept this alliance. It is not in our nature, but we keepers have a sacred duty to uphold. Without Herot's help, our efforts might prove fruitless. Don't know why I don't trust Herot. Talk to you. Sounds like their leaders waiting up at the shrine. The keepers have done well. This place isn't too different from home. Who are the keepers exactly? A group tied closely with our goddess, Etera. They've been indebted to her. But why, we do not know. Even their names. Well, what do they keep? Do they adhere to another god or just her? It's these mysteries that interest the Ospryx. Whatever secrets the Keepers hold, I'm sure Raye wants them. So what's next? Now, we speak to the Keeper Council. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. See you soon. Let's sell some shit! Uh... I don't need any of this, I don't think. Yeah, no. Just sell it all for now, I guess. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. No, because this is an offline character. Okay, I've got stuff in there for my non-offline characters. Let's go and talk to who we need to talk to. Hi. Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena. One of the Keeper's Council. Well, hello there. One of... two. There should be more of us here. What happened? They're gone. Balthus and I remain, and he's not here. As such, I must ask for your help. Ask away. Balthus is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. What can you tell me about this artifact? Not much, I'm afraid. We'll discuss it after our alliance. But I'm doing you a favor. You are, and I'm sorry, but this is how it must be. Their secrecy keeps them safe. Even now, the Ospricks swarm all of our sacred vaults. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north, where Balthus is. Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. Can do. Do this. And our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to heal Boria's army. Sounds like I have work to do. <clears throat> Let's fucking go! Uh, we kicking ass! Oh, I can fire those spikes too. Fuck you. Spell, everything goes up. Fuck it. I now have a big stick. Uh, so, by the way, this button here, oh, the sort item button, so good. More games need that. Anything useful? I mean, money, I guess. Money, 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 money. Money! Run faster! Fucking wheel! Got any one of these? Nah, 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 nah. Nice. This any good? Nah, but yeah. money. Money. Anybody used to watch Storage Wars? 
fucking loved that shit. Money. He was the best character. I forget his actual name, I just remember his slogan. I can throw spikes too, you bitch. Mine hurt more. We are earning all the XP. Shut the fuck up! Uh. <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna die! Should probably focus on healing right now because the boss is coming up. Stop hitting me! Ow! Oh my god, you're f what? Bro, chill! <laughs> All right, first death. What do you mean main menu? What? 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 Do Whoa, why am I back here? What? This should better not be a thing every time I die. What? What? Motherfucker, what? Why am I back here? What did you drop? Oh, it's just one gold. Ugh. One gold? Peasant money! The fuck is bone curse? Here we go. Okay. Go on in. Get their attention. Face the fuck away from me, because I know you're going to go after me. Jesus. Chill out, bro. Do you mind? You stop firing that spell! There we go, he's dead. You have a boss? Yep! Right there. Get out. Oh god. Nice. All the blood! Smells like iron in here. Hello? Clear boss arena? Yep. Very clear boss arena. Hi! How are you? You're dead. Law people! Once I deciphered the Keeper's movements, the vaults were easy to find. Exploring them proved more challenging. Is that not Sean Bean? Ancient stonework that could inspire even the greatest of Solarum's architects. Nearly impenetrable. Between my engineer's finest munitions and the strength of my pet, we managed to crack one open, only to find empty <coughs> halls and vacant chambers. What would be the purpose of such a stronghold if it were to house nothing? Yet I could tell they were here, just as I predicted. They were guarding something of immense importance, something powerful. Raya will be pleased. Guy's simping for his god. It's fucking simp! Cool door. This way. It's always an old dude. Help. We all speak sleep. Protect the sun! I'm right in front of you, bro. I don't need to shout at me. You're gonna get fucked, mate. Not literally, not by me anyway, because that'd, that'd be weird. I'd also get banned off of Twitch and I don't want to get banned. So, yeah. Ow! Didn't move in time. Hi, old man. This game's Deckard Kane. First things first. Thank you. The offspring's grow more The offspring? The day. We've reinforced our walls, supplied our men, and taken out dozens of them. Yet, they're still here. Using brute force now. The howling monster circling the vault. Yes. So, I see you like keeper's robes. I take it Lena sent you. Yes, she did. And she, is she single? Lovely. While your help has been appreciated, I have everything under control. Uh, what do you want doing here? What do you mean? I'm protecting the epoch, of course. What is this place? Here, it's a fortress. Meant to keep unruly treasure hunters from locating the shards of the epoch. 
Or at least it's supposed to. Epoch. Just it's a fun word to say. Did Lena not tell you? Huh. Well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. These peace talks are Also, if your hairline is that far back, it's basically starting at your ass crack. Just shave it off, man. Just accept defeat. Keep the beard cool, whatever, but accept defeat on the head front, yeah? That's damn. Law. Since the keepers enemies, we've held the same rituals. Instructed to keep the epoch shard separate. I'm reading. Those were Itera's words. The first epoch shard is held in a fortress. Rude. Ancient Itaran mechanisms hold it in place, with no one but us knowing how to enter. The second vault is deep inside the Stonefall Mountains. With traps that only the keepers know how to maneuver. Is it smart to is it like really kinda dumb to keep records like this around? The third shard is always on the move. It uses multiple vaults. Only we possess the knowledge to open them. This is why we never call a single place home. So you're a nomadic people. Hi! <laughs> I want to see one of these, like, bird creatures, but, like, with a chicken head or something like that. Just make my day. One of them come down. Can't fly. Kind of dumb. Becomes a friend. There's all the rest bully him. He was the outcast. Yo, I'm making lore here. Yo, dev team who made this game. Listen to what I have to say. I will make you millions. I mean, that I think I... Too much. That is too much. Law. Let me ask. For how long must we live like this? No you just lost 70 hours on P3R. How are you? I'm great, man. I'm enjoying myself. I've been wanting to play Last Epoch for ages. But how much longer until Lagan seeks them out? Isn't P3R like... Triple digits hours length? It's massive, isn't it? We uphold customs, as it are our will, but our goddess is gone. If she knew the state of the world, <coughs> would she not force <coughs> us to act, to bring peace back between her children? We cannot keep the old ways. The council is scared, but nothing will change if we do not change. 